hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, muscle spasticity uh, but before starting i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know now we come to the topic what is uh, muscle spasticity you know you know when your muscles uh, contract that they become stiff or uh, a spasm involuntary and it's called as a, a spasticity you know? and the spasticity can make it difficult to walk uh, to move or talk you know and it can be uncomfortable and painful at times you know and uh, spasticity occurs when uh, the nerve impulses that control the muscle movement are uh, interrupted or damaged you know and a variety of conditions can cause this including like uh, injury you know spinal cord injury or brain injury or maybe uh, diseases such as uh, uh, like amyotrophic lateral sclerosis you know also known as uh, als you know or uh, multiple sclerosis and uh, you know spasticity can have some benefit of uh, for the people with uh, very weak legs you know and uh, the rigidity from the spasticity can help them to stand or to walk you know and for uh, these people the goal of the treatment should be to uh, relieve pain while maintaining the rigidity needed to function you know and the prolonged spasticity can lead to frozen joints uh, pressure sores or uh, an ability like sorry an inability to function normally you know and you need to make an appointment with your doctor if you have the spasticity with an unknown reason you know or unknown cause you know and the small like stretching exercises can help to relieve the spasticity and your doctor may recommend physical therapy or the massage you know and prescription medications for the condition include like muscle relaxants or sedatives and nerve blockers you know and the surgery is used in some cases you know and uh, the next is what are the symptoms well the episodes of the spasticity can range from you know, very mild uh, to debilitating and painful condition you know and the signs and the symptoms may include like uh, muscle tightness or uh, joint stiffness or involuntary jerk movements you know jerky movements and uh, uh, like exaggeration of the uh, uh, reflexes you know unusual posture and abnormal positioning of for the fingers wrist arm and the shoulders you know and uh, muscle spasms and the involuntary uh, crossing of legs called uh, uh, like uh, uh, seizing and the reason is because the legs cross like uh, the tip of a pair of scissors you know and uh, difficulty uh, in uh, like uh, Uh, controlling the muscle used to speak you know and uh, the muscle contractions that limits your range of uh, motion or prevent your joints from extending uh, all the way you know and uh, restricting the movement you know and pain in the affected muscles and the joints and the back pain and the difficulty in moving you know and uh, 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 it can be triggered when uh, uh, you change the position or you move suddenly you know and other spasms triggers include like fatigue or it may be triggered by stress or it may be triggered by the high humidity or extreme heat or extreme cold you know or maybe infection and the clothing that uh, is too tight you know so this can trigger the uh, spasticity you know and uh, the ability to perform the normal tasks can be affected uh, if the spasms become too frequent you know and it it uh, affects on your uh, quality of life you know and the causes of uh, uh, spasticity is the next uh, uh, thing you know you know the main cause is the damage to the nerve pathways that control the movements of the muscles you know and this can be the symptom of uh, a variety of conditions and diseases which may include like uh, Uh, brain injury or maybe spinal cord injury or stroke or cerebral palsy or uh, multiple sclerosis or uh, like uh, uh, 
another type of uh, uh, cyclosis is like uh, known as AL, ALS, you know, or uh, Logarix disease, you know, and uh, hereditary uh, spastic paraplegia, you know, and uh, like uh, uh, adrenal leco uh, dystrophy or uh, uh, phenyl ketone urea or maybe Crab disease, you know. So these are the possible causes, you know. The next thing is, uh, you know, the treatment will be based on the frequency of the spasticity and the level of spasticity and uh, the underlying condition that is causing this one, you know. And uh, you should contact your doctor if uh, you are experiencing the spasticity for the first time and do not know the cause, you know. And if uh, it is getting more severe or it is getting worse, and it's happening more frequently, you know, or uh, um, it has changed considerably, you know, and uh, have the frozen joints or uh, have the pressure sores or the red skin, you know. So in that case, you should consult your doctor. And your doctor may suggest like uh, a physical therapy or the exercises um, that uh, you can do at home, you know. And in some cases, uh, uh, cost or uh, Splint may be used to prevent your muscles from becoming rigid, you know, becoming too tight, you know. Now, there are many, many medications they are used to treat the spasticity. They include like, uh, uh, like uh, butylenum, toxin, you know, which is injected directly into the spastic muscles, or uh, belcofin, which is muscle relaxant, and uh, diazepam, you know, which is a sedative, you know. So these are helpful you know and uh, some of these drugs can cause uncomfortable side effects like uh, fatigue or maybe confusion you know or maybe uh, like nausea you know and if you experience the side effects uh, don't stop taking medications on your own uh, consult your doctor if there isn't any serious side effect you know and uh, surgery can be recommended uh, for the tendon release or to uh, like uh, serve the uh, like uh, uh, like a nerve muscle pathway uh, when medications or the physical therapy fails you know and you don't uh, see any improvement you know and uh, remain under a doctor's care and receive the regular monitoring for the spouse's view you know? and uh, there are some things that you can do at home you know like uh, physical therapy uh, as guided by the physiotherapist you know or stretching exercises or avoiding hot or cold temperatures, you know, wearing loose clothing, you know, and getting plenty of sleep, you know, changing your position often, okay. So this way it helps to improve the symptoms. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more information every day. Thank you and goodbye.